Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am currently sipping some late night coffee. I know that's probably not good, but we had a super healthy dinner and I just got dressed into some workout clothes. I'm going to try to do some sort of workout, something, something, I don't know. But I thought it would be a great time to answer one of your TTC slash infertility questions and topics that um, one of you all suggested in our private Facebook group. So I thought this question was so good and so important. And I knew that I had to do a video on this. If you're new here on my channel, my name is Rachel and I make lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I have been trying to conceive for over two years now and I have shared that journey here on my channel. And this question came from our infertility and TTC support group. So if you want to join that, the link is down in the box below. It always is and will be, so be sure to check that out. Um, the question was, how do you determine how long you try to conceive and when you feel like you're still following God's plan? When I read that, I thought, you know, I have thought about that a lot, but I also am so sure of my answer to this question. And I think it makes so much sense because what I believe is that when you are trying to conceive, when you are yearning for that child, when you are praying to God and hoping and remaining faithful, there is a reason why you want that child. And I feel like every step of your journey, if you are not at peace with that decision or not at peace with where you are going in your journey, then it's probably not where you're supposed to go. It's probably not what is meant to be in that moment. For instance, I am two years on my journey. I have done some testing. My husband has done two tests and they were probably a year apart from each other. And you know, we could have held off on our debt freedom journey and done more testing or proceeded with our fertility treatments or whatever. We could have done that. Honest to God, it doesn't feel, it hasn't felt right. I haven't felt at peace. I haven't felt like I am to make that next step. And no, it does not mean that I don't want a child. I definitely want a child. And I feel like we have just remained so hopeful in trying to conceive naturally. And I feel like, like I mentioned in my video, um, reaching the two year mark, I do feel like I'm at that place now well, where I would like to get more testing done because I have had some testing done. Um, I think I'm at the point where I would like more answers, but I feel like I'm at peace with that. But at the time, I like toward the end of 2018, the second half of the year, I felt very at peace with where I was in my journey. And I feel like that is how you know where you are. And I feel like you will just get the sense of I don't know you just won't worry about it as much you'll feel at peace and I don't know if it's because I prayed more and I became more faithful I don't know what it was but I truly just believe you will know based off of how you feel in the moment on that decision and I don't know I can't speak for those who have been through it for eight years or six or five or I mean even more than two I can't speak for those people and what they believe on that but I just know from my experience in taking the next step and knowing when and feeling like I'm on God's plan, like I feel right now that I am on, I am following God's path. I am following his plan and I feel at peace with my journey. And so I feel like if you don't feel at peace with your journey, you're probably either you need to make another move or you need to, I don't know, maybe you just need to pray more about it and figure it out and look for those signs because I feel like in every step and every part of this journey, if I listen for my answer, for what I'm asking from, from God, I find it. And it's just incredible. And it's so different. I'll be honest with you all. My faith has never been stronger and it's so incredibly crazy for me to say that because 
I understand. For the longest time, I always thought, gosh, these people are crazy. Like, they lose a child. They lose something so big to them. Or they, they're, infer they're infertile and all this stuff. But yet, they're so faithful. Like, how do they remain that strong? Like, I always used to think that about people who have had just tragic things happen to them. I'm like, how is she so strong? How is she so happy? And how does she move on with her life? And it is just because of God. It's his faith. It has to be. And all of those people that I know are so strong in their faith. And I feel like I finally, I mean, I'm, I don't understand it completely, I'm sure, because I've never experienced a loss like that. But it's just, it makes more sense to me now because I am more faithful now than I ever have been. And I don't even have what I want, if that makes sense. So I hope that this answered your question. I think that was an amazing topic to talk about. And it's a great conversation. So be sure to leave in the comments what you all think on that topic and that question. And let me know your thoughts if you have kind of felt the same things or experienced that on your journey. And yeah. I am so thankful for all of you all for the support community and I am praying for you all on your journey so much. Oh, and I have a bunch of awesome topics from so many of you all in that support group to talk about. I am thinking on a bunch of them, but I am so excited to talk more on a bunch of those topics. So stay tuned. And if you are not caught up on my journey, I have an entire playlist for TTC and infertility and it's just so much support. So I hope that you all find that you are not alone in this journey. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.